What's up, everyone? It's me, CN Teskayuma, and welcome to CN Figures, Figures in Your House. And for this tour review, we're going to look at the Marvel Legends 2018 Cold City Builder Figure Wave, Malekid. And finally got this guy. I always been wanting this guy since the Comic Con exclusive version was popping out in every comic book store. And also around any toy store they had. Boy, that version was so hard to find. So part they decided to make this version as a Marvel Legends store exclusive. What I say store exclusive, it means that we can buy it in anywhere we can find them, like GameStop, Target, Walmart, or Toys R Us. And I'm happy that Toys R Us are coming back to the earth. I can't wait to go on hunting at Toys R Us. So in the window box, you can see Malachi here. It comes with one arm of Call of City, an accessory. You can see his cool looking blade. And right behind Malachi, there's this weapon of Carl and Silly. And the top of the box, you see Mar uh, Legend Series, Marvel Avengers, Malekid. And the top in the box, you can see an A stands for Avengers, Bill of Figure, Call of City. And this side, you get a, a nice good picture of Malekid. And also from this side, I really like this side because you can see his dad and more Tucker color. The other side, well, the other half of his face. And the back side, you can see another picture of Malekid with an awesome pose. And there's other figures in the wave. Right now, we got Black Widow, Wasp. So the only ones I need is Thor, Ant Man, and Black Knight. So it's like a half a wave I need. And there's a Bill figure. He looks awesome. Can't wait to get all the rest of the figures to build this guy. Okay, so. There's nothing in the bottom side, so enough chatting, let's open him up. And there's Malekit out of his box, and this guy looks sick. And I'm so glad that we get a chance to see this guy in the, the TV series of the Avengers Earth's Mighty Heroes. And that series is the best, it's one of my favorite series of Marvel, and I really like to watch it every single time. And the day that I found them at Walmart at Black Friday, when I showed it to my brother, he said, he looks ugly. Well, that's his opinion. My opinion is that he is a good looking figure. Just look all this great paint ads, the detail, the sculpting. It's really amazing. But I do have problems to get him a better pose. Probably doesn't have that much articulation. To give him a good pose, so I just gave him a lame one. It's like I don't have stands. I really want to get stands and give him better poses in my figures. Like every time I want to do a tour review. Alright, so let's get on with the accessories. Medicaid comes with one arm of Cold City. And you can see they had a lot of sculpting around this piece. But this, I'm going to talk about it. On a different video and a different review. And like I said, Madagascar comes with his weapon, but I believe they made him from a, I don't know, that material that makes little kids' toys. Cause the noise, the noise sounds familiar, but I can't remember where that I heard it. But it is really cool and it's big, but it doesn't fit on his hand. It fits in the other arm. You see? Well, you know. Okay, better not risk it. And that little kid comes with his awesome blade. Just look at it. It's so shiny. I really like the gray color they added. And the gold color and around the tip. And you can see that they added some lot of teeth around here. Just look at it. They did awesome sculpting. And the good thing is, it's not pokey, and also here, but it's a little bit bendable. I do like the color because it shines a lot. Awesome accessory. They done a good job making this little piece. I just really love it. Alright, so let's get on with 
Malekit. And here's Malekit again, but there's one thing I don't really like. Just like my Domino and Gwenpool, and they added this loose belt. I don't really like it. Why in the world they keep adding that? I just don't like it because the belt moves all around. But they did add these little pockets right here in this belt. All sculpted. You can see the line here in each one. And some buttons. And they also added this star around the middle of his belt. And his skirt. I'm going to call it a skirt. It's a little bit bendable in every line. So let's talk about his articulation right now. Okay, you can... Madigan can look down, he doesn't look up because of his hair, he can move his head side to side, but not rotation, he can open his arms a little bit, but he cannot um, turn, like, twist it around because of uh, shoulders that he has, but he has some arm rotation, double joint on his arm. Well, his elbow, wrist swivel, a little bit fibbit. He can kick this much. He can open his legs a little, but he cannot kick back. Double joint on the knee. Some articulation on his leg here. Some articulation on his foot, and that's and he has some articulation around his torso. But this is a crunch. You see, you can hear the crunch. But here's something I don't even get: How come that this star is black and this star is red? How come that it's not white like this piece of the star? This should be white all around here, and black, they should add it around here. I don't know why in the world they didn't add that. But his hairs, but his hair, I don't know what kind of type of rubber they use. You can see it's a little bit bendable, and it's want to stick out of uh, his head. Oh yeah, now let's talk about his face. First, the hair. You can see they added some lot of sculpting, and his hair... I cannot tell what color is it. It looks like multi cheese. Part they added some multi cheese to attach the hair. Part is like it wants to lose. See? But I do really like the color of his head. Some color, his half face is blue. I really like the color blue. And his half face is so dark. You cannot even see his other eye. You can see his sculpting, he have his teeth inside. Oh, white, but we cannot even see the color of his eyes, no eyebrows or anything. But you can see some sculpting on the ears. But you only see one ear because the other ear is covered up from this, from his hair. But his hair is really bendable. Just look at it, so bendable. And I don't know if this thing can be removed. I just don't know. I just wanna don't want to take his head off because if I do. What well, happened the tip? It might break. So I don't want to risk that. So they added some gold color around his bracelets. I'm going to call these bracelets. <laughs> but I do like the color of his skin. All blue. Some sculpting on his wrist. And you can choose either one of those hands to hold his sword. So let's get his sword right now. I really love this accessory. It looks so sick. But it takes um hard to put it in his in this hand because I try to give him a better pose. I right, didn't there. Mhm. Mm it doesn't come off. Now let's put it in the other hand. Let's see. Let's see. I think you cannot put it in his hand because his thumb is close to his finger. You see, this you can't even put it. That sucks, and also sucks that they didn't give him. They didn't give him um an extra head, some extra hands, or some effects. That would be better. He would come some effects like an ice effect, 
because he is an elf from the snow. They sure gave him some acid fix. I don't know why they didn't do that. But I, I do like this figure. I really like it. Just look at all this detail. The articulation. It's really neat. And I'm glad I found this figure. And luckily that they only had mannequin and the walls when I went to that Walmart. And I was doing my toy hunt. One little kid inside that Walmart, he was staring at me. And then like when I'm done recording inside, and he told, when I told him that I'm doing a toy hunt, and there he was asking me questions, saying, is this toys for you or for your kid? I told him again, I'm toy hunting. And also I do tour reviews, and I show my channel to that little kid. I hope I see that kid again someday in the future. Alright, so let's do some comparing size right now. Okay, Malachi, he stands around six and a half inches tall hike. Here he is next to my Diamond Select Axel, and I don't know if they stay in the same height because I see Axel much taller than Malachi. Here he is next to my Thundercats Anchor Finger Emra, and you can see they stand almost not almost to the same height and tell me in the comments down below who went out of this fight Malekit or Emra and here he is next to the Marvel Legends Bishop and you can see that they both stand in the same height and here he is next to my favorite Marcel at Juggernaut and Juggernaut will always be the tallest and there you have it guys so thank you for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more of my tour reviews around my channel. And follow me on my Facebook, CM Figures, so you can see a lot of posts, a lot of pictures of my figures. And don't leave any offensive comments or saying bad words. If you do that, your comment will be removed from this video. So remember guys, like, comment, and subscribe. And this is CN Teskaima and Malekit and we are out in line. Take care, be safe, keep on hunting and keep on collecting.